So this is our boy Max here. Uh, I've been, you know, on him about trying to play. Uh, it's one of the, one of the most blandest dogs I've ever been around. We're trying to entice some kind of excitement. We're trying to gauge in some type of play. Uh, what I've been doing is reinforcing the playful, the relaxed, playful behavior. Over time, it is a process. He's getting better and better. And I'm adding a toy, something he can, something tangible, something he can grab a hold of and, the, and to exuberate his excitement. So uh, I've been using the same toy uh, over and over again. Uh, and you'll see today he's actually, he's wanting to play, he, you know, so I'm only doing short periods of training uh, when it's concerned. And uh, he's getting better and better. Like I said, it is a process. But it, the end result is near, it's coming. We see we're on the right track, so, and it shows a little bit because he didn't want to have anything to do with any toy. Of course, we're not doing anything with a tennis ball. He's petrified of a tennis ball. So, here we go. <clears throat> so, listen to my voice. I do this usually from behind him. I, I kind of, I hide it like we're playing a game. You know, and I kind of creep up on them some. Okay, come on. <laughs> okay. Boy, good job. Good. So when he bites at it, when he bites at it, I click and treat. Okay, and we'll go right back into it. Okay, okay. Good. Good boy. So this becomes a toy that he wants to play with. And he only gets it during these interactions, which builds the ultimate value with this thing. See, I'm hiding it. I'm hiding it away from him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good boy. I'm hiding it away from him. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Boy. And this goes to when he's chasing his tail, trying to woo, woo, and then to get to a point where I don't have to kind of be behind him because he was chasing his tail. Come on, woo! Okay. <laughs> Okay, one more, one more. Her. You see his body's kind of good job. His body's kind of relaxed. Last one, man. You ready? Okay. Come on, mama. Woo! Good job. And I know this is like, what is he doing? But that's big steps for this guy here who is completely bland and doesn't want to interact in any kind of play or anything. To get to this level, it takes, it takes a series of training sessions, um, reinforcing those relaxing instances where he's just completely relaxed. You see what I like to, do is when his ears are kind of perked on me, he's focused on me, He want, he's kind of into the game a little bit, he wants to play and um, this lets me know he is relaxed. And when he hears noises uh, like my uh, belt buckle scraping against the, the side of uh, this cabinet here, he tends to stop and be like, what is that? But it comes right back into play again. So, um, and this is just a process. It's a process. And he's getting better and better every day. So we're on the right track. Um, 
And what happens is, uh, you know, as much energy as we're putting into it now, in time we won't have to put as much energy into it. Uh, we're just kind of laying the foundation of him actually even doing the fetch and retrieve is which we're, the ultimate goal is. Uh, when I'm excited about this toy, I wanted him excited. All there's a towel that's in the knot. I want him excited about this toy so he never gets to see it outside of a training session. Um, but he is getting a, he is getting a lot better. So.